Well, let, let me just be clear. I got into Harvard only because of affirmative action. I went to a school no one had ever heard of in Denver, Colorado, in a small suburb. I didn't go to Exeter or Andover. Yeah, I didn't right. have college test prep. I just happened to be really nerdy and smart and have really good grades and good SAT scores. Right. But someone came to Denver, Colorado to look for me. A Harvard right. recruiter flew to Denver, and I met up with her at the Village Inn restaurant and did a pre-interview to get to re to pull me into Harvard. I wasn't. I was pulled in, and the and the schools like Harvard and Yale that That's I got into affirmatively. Yes. and it was literally not saying we're going to take an unqualified person and put them right. in Harvard. Yes. We're going to take a very qualified person who we would never know existed and put them in Harvard. That's how I got there. That's how Katanji got there. That's how well, Justice Jackson, I should say. Justice Jackson got there. It's how Clarence Thomas got there. Right. But the minute I arrived from my majority black little town, Montbello in Denver, to Harvard, the first like week or two that I was in class, my presence was questioned by white people. I was in this big conference class mm. where some white students st stood up and said, those students, the black students, they're only here because of affirmative action. It became a huge argument that we all ended up having. This was freshman year. I had never had my academic credentials questioned. I had never had anyone question whether I was intelligent until I got to Harvard. And it was a defining uh, point of my experience there. It's why I really was mis one of the many reasons I was miserable there my freshman year. Yeah. You felt completely out of place and people keep telling you you shouldn't be here and yet some of the people i went to school with were far less smart than me or the other right. black folk there right. they got in because their daddy and their granddaddy right. i went to school with somebody whose name was on one of the buildings <laughs> you're going to school with people whose names are on the buildings who are third and fourth generation legacies whose parents pumped money into harvard to get them right. in but that affirmative action is okay with this majority. They said that the people who benefited from slavery, their descendants, who are so far ahead of black folk in terms of opportunity, that we'll never catch up to them. I don't care how many Oprahs we get. Those people's affirmative action is A-OK -okay because those people yeah. can pay for fancy trips for them. Yeah. But you people who want to get in just because of your brains but you're not from a legacy, too bad. You can't come in. Girl, bye. <laughs> bye. Seriously, y'all, before I jump into this foolishness, before I jump into, first of all, I didn't believe the her whole she went to the school and they were questioning why she was there. If they did question why you were there, they were probably questioning why in the hell, how in the hell did this dumbass woman get up in here? It probably had nothing to do with your race. But before I jump into that, this video is sponsored by Noble Gold. Noble Gold can help you protect your retirement. They can help you bag your money with real physical silver and gold. Give them a call at 1-877-646-5347. And you don't, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you don't have, listen, you don't need affirmative action to work with them, okay? For them to help you out. You don't need that at all, okay? Noble Gold can help you. Uh, uh, call the number or click the link in this video description. Now back to Joy Reid. So Joy Reid, you just admitted that you got into Harvard because of affirmative action. That's the point, okay? From what I see right now, you are dumber than a box of rocks. And you got into Harvard just because you were black, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. It's not fair for someone to choose you because of the color of your skin and take away someone else's opportunity because they're white and give you the opportunity because you are black. How is that fair? That's not how it is supposed to work in America at all. Black people can succeed in this country without affirmative action. Black people can succeed in a merit-based system without affirmative action. They can do it. You don't, you don't need a handout. All you need is work ethic. Work hard. Prove, prove that you deserve the opportunity. You have to be qualified. You should be... It, it, if you don't meet the qualifications, you should not get into that school. You should not get the you should not get that job over someone else who is qualified. Being black does not make you qualified. 
It's as simple as that.